The U.S. Air Force announced that approximately 150 personnel from the 92nd Air Refueling Wing here deployed four KC-135 Stratotankers to Spangdalem Air Base, Germany. The aircraft arrived at Spangdalem to augment existing U.S. forces in theater, improve readiness, enhance NATO's collective defense posture, and further capabilities with allied and partner nations. The deployment is with the full cooperation of the German government. We are always ready, said Colonel Cassius Bentley, 92nd Air Refueling Wing Commander. Our airmen and aircraft are always prepared, working hard to ensure that we are ready to support when called. This deployment proves we can provide rapid global mobility, reach, and power. The 92nd Air Refueling Wing is the Air Force's largest active duty air refueling wing, warranting the title Super Tanker Wing. Fairchild directly supports Air Mobility Command's mission, providing global reach air power and deploying expeditionary combat support forces in support of worldwide contingency requirements. This is purely a defense force, said Chief Pentagon spokesman John Kirby. These additional personnel are deployed to clearly respond to the current security environment caused by recent developments between Russia and Ukraine, and of course to help strengthen and enhance the NATO alliance's deterrence and defense capabilities. This deployment was conducted in full coordination with host nations and NATO military authorities, and although temporary in nature, they are prudent measures to increase readiness and enhance NATO's collective defense during this period of uncertainty. The 92nd ARW capability of aerial refueling enhances the Air Force's ability to accomplish its mission of projecting the joint force with rapid global mobility. The KC-135 Stratotanker is an American military aerial refueling aircraft that was developed from the Boeing 367-80 prototype, alongside the Boeing 707 airliner. It is the predominant variant of the C-135 Stratolifter family of transport aircraft. The KC-135 was the U.S. Air Force's first jet-powered refueling tanker and replaced the KC-97 Stratofreighter. The KC-135 entered service with the United States Air Force USAF, in 1957. It is one of six military fixed-wing aircraft with over 50 years of continuous service with its original operator. The KC-135 is supplemented by the larger McDonnell Douglas KC-10 extender. Studies have concluded that many of the aircraft could be flown until 2030, although maintenance costs have greatly increased. 